look at this. This is ridiculous. What? What? This is crazy. You know what? As a responsible adult, I need to take action. <laughs> Help! Why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Why? Because the pee is silent. We're being tailed. Let's hurry up. I don't want to be seen with you. What if they stop? They're Two hours later. Don't. Blame the You know this is going to be a good video, because I put on deodorant so I'm all fresh for the camera. So, odds are, you've seen a millennial because you're looking at one. Millennials are already a joke on the internet, and not even one of us is an adult. And not even one of us is an adult. It's ridiculous. Like, memes here, memes there, memes everywhere. Seriously, not even one of us is an adult yet. But come 2018, and you know the full heat of everyone will be on us. We'll get blamed for global warming, for the economy failing, for nuclear wars that we can't possibly have any effect on. But why? Like, why are we getting made fun of already? And the answer is simple. The adults don't want to take responsibility. You know they're just trying to avoid responsibilities because they're harassing us on the internet. What responsible adult harasses children on the internet? Unless it's their job, <coughs> YouTube. But like I said, they're, they're basically going, oh, war, millennials. Pollution, millennials. Economy failing, millennials. Oh, the world's about to get hit by a comet. The millennials probably sent the comet. Back in my day, kids didn't act like this. Respect your elders, you trash. But Grandpa, I just asked for a cookie. Disrespect on top of disrespect? Do you have any manners? Didn't your parents teach you to be polite to your elders? But aren't my parents your kids, Grandpa? Timmy, what did I just tell you about respect? Wait. Or they're on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, and they try way too hard to relate. For example, I found this shining, beautiful Maymay that a 60-year-old probably made in attempts to further his marketing prowess. Now that was a meme by Gushers, and because I'm throw as heck, I did my research. So, I found out Gushers isn't their own just company, they're owned by General Mills. And you know who the general of General Mills is? His name is... Colonel Sanders. Kendall Powell. He's born in 1959. Do you know how old that makes him? Just shy of 50. Wait, no. Just shy of 60. Now, I'm sure that all the ads Gushers tries to do gets run through, maybe not him himself, but it has to get run by someone. And that meme was just so terrible. It's not even a meme, it's just a stupid pun that's meant to be an ad and it makes no sense because 
Oh, Mount Gusmore. Law. Let's buy Gushers. No, I'm gonna go buy fruit. Buy fruit by the foot. What the heck? Ah! But I digress. And then there's, there's there's this Motel 6 commercial, which is definitely a step up. I, I'm not gonna lie. I found it kind of funny the first time because it was like, oh, not funny in the sense they were going for funny. Like, oh, please stop. <laughs> You're a pathetic old man. <laughs> Hi, Tom Bodette. Apparently, the hip thing for businesses to do these days is target millennials. So it may sound sus coming from this baby boomer, but Motel 6 is a V-great place for your squad to stay woke or asleep. The updated rooms are hashtag blessed with contemporary floors, bedding, and flat screen TVs that are totally on fleek. Plus, their prices are always low A. I'm Tom Bodette, and we'll keep it lit for you. Book online at Motel. You know what? After looking back at it again, that was actually hashtag rule later. And then perhaps the best example I can find for this is. It's a shining example, really, of trying way too hard to relate. It's the myth, the monster, the meme, the emoji movie. It's a shameless, quick attempt at a cash grab. And do I even need to even mention how bad it is? Insert reviews here. But like I said, you know this is just a bunch of 60-year-olds co cooking up these terrible ideas in their office, thinking like, huh. What can we do that's hashtag relatable to relate to the youth of today? What's something that all youth love and would definitely want to watch a movie about? Emojis! What about graham crackers? <laughs> and in 2020, when, when the first millennials can vote, you, you know they're gonna be blamed for whichever president, like, obviously I don't know who's gonna run, but, like, one side's gonna blame the Millennials if their side doesn't win, like, regardless of what goes down, you know it's the Millennials' fault. It, the, did I pronounce that badly? Yes, I did. But I don't care, because a Millennial did it, so it's not my fault! But you are a Millennial. But for now, it's okay, because legally, I'm just a kid. Yeah, can I hire you to run me over? Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the comment button, do all of the above if you like the vid. Please smash 10,000 likes at least. If it doesn't have 10,000 likes, get it to 5,000 likes. And if I get any dislikes, I will delete the dislikes and the dislike ratio. Comment and like and subscribe. In case you were dumb and forgot, because you are the dumb one. Everybody smash the like button, smash subscribe button, smash comment button, do all of the above if you like vid. Please smash 10,000 likes at least. If it doesn't have 10,000 likes, get it to 5,000 likes. And if I get any dislikes, I will delete the dislikes and the dislike ratio. Comment and like and subscribe. 
in case you were dumb and forgot, because you are the dumb one.